The following story is based on the real experiences of real cops. Make no mistake, what you're about to see is confronting. We're sworn, without favour or affection, without malice or ill will. Sworn to keep and preserve the peace. Maybe that's why nobody wants to talk about it. We all have dreams in life. Where we want to go, what we want to do, and who we want to be. My nephew Grant could have grown up to be anyone. But I guess I had an influence on him. And it was clear who he wanted to be. I guess that's why I feel partly responsible. I was so proud of Grant that day. Mum said never marry a cop. I guess it's too late for that now. I joined the force about the same time Grant did. I wanted to be on the horses. He wanted to be on the bikes. But everybody has to do time on general patrol. Shoulders, it was just ridiculous. It was That's where we met. <laughs> All through her jacket. Hey, what do we got here? Looks like a 201. Who's calling? Port 11. Port 11. Yeah, we've got an on view 201. 11, unreadable, reset. Okay, Port 11. Port 11. Mom? Mom? Hey, mate, what's happened? She won't wake up. OK, I need Mom. you to wake up for me, OK? Uh, 24 Back Street. Please, Mom. Hey, I need you to wake up. Please. Grant. Grant. It's not good. Grab the kit. All right. I've got to get Mum out of the car, mate. Everything's OK. When someone's heart stops, our job is simple. Keep the heart going till the ambos arrive. Don't, don't do that. Mate, I'm doing everything I can to help Mum. You're, you're hurting her. No, I'm not, buddy. I, I need to do this to help Mum. You don't want to interrupt CPR. Okay. I hope so, buddy, but May? we have to do this to help Mum. Hey, let's swap it out. But the boy was only responding to Grant. Please. So we didn't have a choice. Just go, go again. All right, mate, so we have to do this to help Mum, all right, buddy? It might seem a bit strange what we're doing, but trust me, we're doing our best to help Mummy. Port 11, how far off is that ambulance? Port 11, ambulance diverted to uh, Rio 201 607, will advise. Delay. This couldn't get any worse. They're going to be here soon, mate. You're doing a great job. You're being really brave, OK? They'll do everything they can to look after Mum. You're right there. 
Yeah. Hey. Are you right to keep going? Yeah. yeah. All right. If these guys know what they're doing, OK? They're the experts. They're going to look after Mum. Does Mum have any medical conditions? Or... Uh, not that we're aware of. I've asked about diabetes, Neil. She's never had any bones of eggs before that we know of. You good here? Yeah, I'm good. Then Mum's got to go down to hospital. We'll follow down. You ever been for a ride in a police car? You better pop that on then. Guess a look. Perfect. Say bye to Mum. Come, buddy, let's go. We meet so many people in this job. All right, sit up the front. How about that? And mostly it's not for a good reason. We do our job move on and we never hear from them again. So I'm often left wondering, did it all work out? Someone's here to see you. Who? Someone. No, seriously, who is it? Come on, come on, it's going to ruin the surprise. Just come, come, come. That's awesome, mate. Really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. You take care of Mum, all right? Get off the floor, Constable. Yes, Sarge. to a cop wasn't so bad after all. With Gran around, we always felt safe. All right, little one. Time to get you out of here. He's such a great dad. Things were going really well. We had little Jack, and with Grant's promotion, we were talking about having another baby. But I must admit, I was worried about where they were going to transfer him. Right. Major crash. You're up.
All right, little one. Time to get you out of here. Look here, he's back early. He was supposed to be a year with Major Crash. He was back in three months. Department, are you okay? Emails. Traffic 10, the corner of 10. I don't know of anyone who takes them seriously. Having an emotional reaction to a traumatic event, you wouldn't be human if you didn't. But trying to dismiss it, that's where the trouble begins. Dreaming about. It was a dream. Yes, you were. You woke us up. Baby woke us up. Grant, you have nightmares. Grant, maybe you should see a doctor. One effect of trauma is a diminished ability to think logically. So it's hard to notice a change in your own behaviour. It's family or friends that will be the first to notice. But without knowing why, this behaviour will be misread. Grant? What are you doing? Nothing. Grant, I just moved that. I only know you didn't, now I'm putting it back. Why? Because, just because. I need it here because of my back. Well, I need it here, so why don't you get your back fixed? Why are you talking to me like that? You know how painful I, how I painful said, it is? I'm shifting the seat. Why? I what difference does it make? While well, my back's getting fixed, why can't I just have it on the side? Because I it want make? it here. Because it makes a difference. It makes a difference. What, so what difference? Just let it go, Karen. <laughs> 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 Where's the stories, mate? South 9-1. Oh, 
Nothing really to tell. Really? Must be. Everyone always has something to tell. South Night 1, Sydney Police and Six Tavern Rain Aggravated Assault. Okay. South Night 1, Roger. Send it down, mate. Is this Knuckle doing? Yeah. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. Whoa, whoa. Buddy! Port 10, we're on a 603 at 664, bring my way back. Evening. We haven't done anything, we're just, we're just on our way home. Had something to drink tonight, mate? No, he hasn't, he hasn't. We haven't drank. We've just right. come from a friend's house. Right. Yeah, mate. All right, this is a random breath test. I now direct you to make you one to long, blow continuous it, blow in here until I tell you to stop. No, you don't have to. I want to no, see the certification I for that. Don't mate, don't be an it. idiot. <laughs> no. I now direct what? you to make no. one long, no. continuous no. blow. Yeah. Can you please stop hindering oh. them? No. I'm trying to get him to he submit to a breath test. Legally, I yeah. now direct you to make one long, continuous blow in here until I tell you to stop. Can you shut your mouth? I'm trying to get this under control here. One long, continuous blow. Oh my God, I can't believe Keep guy. going. <laughs> We're not criminals. Stop. What is wrong with this oh, cop? I don't know, man. This is just like out of control. So, just trying to get home. Mate, you are 0.05 over the limit. Yeah, no and shit. And you've got a mate. child in the back. What, what? kind of an what? idiot are you? What the fuck? What? The car? In the back of the car. You're what driving home, mate. You're 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 You're a fucking crazy idiot. You know I'm fucking out of here. No, you're not out of here. Regardless of what's in the back, you are over the limit. I now need you to come back to the police station to it's submit to a brick ja and now it's a fucking jacket. You might be a jacket, but you are going over the limit with a child what in the back of the car. This is crazy. What's he doing? Hey. Memories of traumatic events get imprinted in our minds. Similar sounds or images can trigger those memories, and then we hear and see things that aren't there. Again, without our colleagues knowing the full story, our behaviour will be misinterpreted. South one one ten. Mate, you are point oh five over the limit, and you've got a child in the back. What, what? kind of an idiot what? are you? Fucking uh, for what? The car. Back of the car. You're driving. You're driving. Fucking jacket, mate. It's a fucking jacket. You're a fucking crazy idiot, man. What? No, I'm fucking out of here. No, you're not out of here. Regardless of what's in the back. Fucking jacket. You're wearing a jacket. You're fucking jacket. You're blowing over the limit with a child in the back of the car. We done. Get the fuck out. Grant. 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 It was dark, mate. Anyone could have made the same mistake. It's what I wrote in my report. Grant! Home. 
If only antidepressants were the ultimate cure for a mental health injury. But the truth is, they're not. They're just first aid, a splint around the mind. Without counselling, therapy, psychological help, it will only get worse. seen Grant in a while, but after I got a worrying call from Karen, I figured it was time to catch up. Hey, yeah, Matt. How you doing? Good. Nice to see you. Yeah, I just thought I'd pop around and say hello. What you doing on your bike? Well, I got something like the electrics on it. It's the fuse or... things I found out that really helped me is, is not to bottle things up. I tried talking to Karen, but... No, no, you can't take your worries home. She doesn't want to hear it anyway. Well, really, she, she doesn't want to hear the details of everything that no. goes at work. It'll just worry her even more. Look, I know the one thing that is true, though, and is that you really... You've got to find someone. It doesn't have to be me, but it's got to be somebody who's been through what you're going through. Get yourself some time off. Go see a doctor about it. You're a good bloke. Don't let this get to you. Four weeks off. Mental health. You know, I didn't do 30 years in this job without a very good bullshit meter. Put your gun back in the locker. And have a nice holiday. I think our talk helped. Karen told me things had started to settle down a little. And Grant and I planned to get in touch more often. And talk things out. He needed to know how important that is. Yeah, things were getting better. looking good. I mean, almost, that way. <laughs> almost. Yeah, almost. Thank you. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> no more greys. Must have done you good, eh? Should we be trusting him yeah. with a loaded weapon? Speak to John, mate. Got put to work, didn't you? Oh, just a bit around the garden. A bit of painting, but... Oh, yeah. Got to... As far So, should we be sending him out on patrol with a loaded weapon? He's uh, been a bit in edge lately. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on him. Thanks, sir. Yeah, he's still inviting Uncle John over, is <laughs> Right, Porten. All right. Porten, Roger. Take that when ready. Port 10. Port 10. Port 10, we're going to need the forensic conveyors to our location. OK. 
Hey mate, mate, you know the rules here. This is a crime scene. You've got to move over there. Then they trialled psych visits. I was thinking about it myself, but who wants to be seen going to the psych with the wobblies? It wasn't the smartest idea they've ever had. Do you want to come out for coffee? Rain check. Sure. Finding a good psychologist or psychiatrist is essential for dealing with a mental health injury. Finding a bad one will only make things worse. What did you just say, mate? What the fuck did you just say? What part of this don't you fucking get? I know you. I know this fucking pig. Fucking pig, sure. You're a fucking, fucking pig. pig. What are you sure doing, mate, mate? Shut up. Why are you out there on the road fucking harassing innocent people? Because I'm not, because I'm in here dealing with shit like you two. Oh, oh, yeah. fuck. You know what? Drink, Come on. Hey, Deal with me then. Have a go. Have a go. Go on. Have a fucking go. Shut the fuck up! You don't tell her to shut up. If you want it so much, fucking go for it. You fucking pig. You fucking filthy pig. Just give me one fucking reason. Oh, I'll tell you what. You must be so sad. Shut your fucking mouth! Go! You come on! Do it! Fucking do it! Make my fucking day! Make my fucking badge, mate? Make my fucking day! Are you... Where's your gun? Here it is! Where's your gun, mate? Where's your gun? You'll fucking see it in a minute, cunt! Here's my fucking gun! I'll fucking bend you over the fucking table, cunt! I'll fucking have you! <laughs> Are you just touching me? You fucking see that? Go on, you fucking touch me! You fucking touch me! Fucking CCTV! You don't seem to get it, Brad. Fucking hell. You put on that uniform, you're not one cop, you're every fucking cop! You act like an idiot, Joe Blow out there thinks we're all fucking idiots! Fucking disgrace! What the hell is wrong with you? This is the second time! 
What? Doesn't matter, I'm fine. One more outburst like this and you'll be on station duties. Constant exposure to stressful situations, combined with untreated traumatic experiences, will compound in the mind like one drip at a time filling a glass, leaving less and less room for rational thought. If untreated, eventually the glass will be full. while things were getting better. But then he started spiraling down again. I so didn't sign up for this. and everyone around you. Application for motorcycle unit. You know that requires a psych exam. You'd be lucky to make the bicycle unit. When this investigation is complete, 
You'll be lucky if you've still got a job. Grant. Grant. Hey. Gotta have that coffee, mate. Yeah, no. Please. That Monday. Okay. What are you doing? enough. signs of someone contemplating suicide are many and varied. A sudden uplift in mood, settling of affairs, giving away prized possessions, sentimental messages. Back, will you? Why? No, don't argue with me. Just go and do it now. It's what do you mean? Oh. Grant. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, have you seen Grant tonight? Anyone? Anyone? deserve. 
I thought I was strong enough to help everyone, but... Turns out that I'm not. You deserve more than to be burdened with me. Sorry I couldn't be more. I love you. This is not the end of Grant's story. It's just the beginning of a long journey to recovery. And while not all cops' stories lead to attempted suicide, their experiences will serve as lessons to others, like those of many serving officers before them, but only if they're willing to speak out. And only if others are willing to listen. Graduation day. 